This is how I made this really awesome deep house drop. So before I actually started the tutorial, a lot of you guys aren't actually subscribed, like a lot. So it really helps out if you guys like and subscribe to the channel. So no more talking, let's go straight into the tutorial. So here I have our little drop composed of our vocal lead. And this vocal lead is very awesome because it's from today's sponsor, Black Lotus Audio. So Black Lotus Audio released their new Cosmic House Pack, which is what we're using to make this drop. And they have these really cool vocals, which is what I use here as a main lead. It's very barely processed. It's just going into the sidechain so that it's stuck whenever the kick hits so that it sounds cleaner on the mix. Then we got here our drop elements, which is a very spicy part of the track. And a lot of things are happening here. So for starters, we have here our main bass, which is from the Cosmic House Pack by Black Lotus Audio, which you can get by clicking the link down in the description. This is Pluck Absorption. So if we go here into our bases, Pluck Absorption. And then to make the base thicker, it is layered with this Rumble base, also from our Cosmic Pack. So every preset used in this drop is by Cosmic from Black Lotus Audio. So we go here, Style, Bass, Rumble, Tesseract, Two-Step. And so this is what it sounds so low for the first bass. It has a lot of mid bass energy. It's very full, very awesome. And then when layered on top of this bass here, which I'm gonna play soloed. It has a lot of high bass, including a really clean sub that I like. And then when it's mixed together, it sounds something like this. It sounds very full. It sounds very clean. And then for mixing these two together. So channel number four here is just a low cut so that I can cut off the sub so they don't have so that there's no phase issues with the sub on the bass. And then I cut a little bit of the mid highs here. So that it sounds a bit cleaner and not so piercing to the ears. And then for the second bass, I just lowered the high end by a lot. So that it's not very sharp, very resonant and it doesn't clash with the other sounds on the drop. Next here, we have this really cool filler bass. Very festival style hyper lead. It's a one shot again. So if we go into our cosmic folder here, cosmic house for vital, we sort it by base. We got our one shot neutrino blaster. And this one shot is really cool. It can be used for so much because it has that really nice hyper lead laser tone that is very present in a lot of house track, dubstep track. EDM uses a lot of these. So if you want that really neat base you can check out the cosmic pack down in the description thank you black lotus audio for processing on this base we only have here a really aggressive low cut so it's only the very high mid area to fill mid highs is what's being produced because we already have the mid lows on the other main base so now for the mix down we want the mid highs for this and that is a process here for mixing this bass. Then we got another one shot here. So I'm going to mute the one before. This one is Celestial um, Curb Stomp. And this one is a very classic house patch. So if we listen to it. I 
has a very classic house tune that you can hear in most popular house songs. And the really cool part about this pack is that every preset has macros, so you can play around with the macros. <laughs> And you can really change the tone just by playing around with these macros. Now for our last bass here on our drop, we got this little filler bass. And it is a sustained bass from the Cosmic House Pack Astrolab. We can see it right here. It's really complex. There's some really awesome sound design in this pack that you can really learn a lot if you break down and reverse engineer the presets, which is something that I really like to do for learning sound design reverse engineering presets. It's the best and safest way to actually learn your favorite sounds and sort of recreate them on your own. So it's a really awesome tool for learning. It's very gritty, it's very, very tight, and you can really change the tone here by playing around with these knobs. And I have it for making sort of a bouncing tone, for example, here. And it's really great for creating those very sharp, fast hitting jumping notes. So if we listen to all the basses together, they sound something like this. And if we add our sidechain here, It sounds very awesome. Then here on our drums, you guys already heard a kick. All of the drums are from Black Lotus Audio's pack Breakout. So Breakout is a DMB drum pack, but it sounds very solid for a house drums too. And this is what it sounds like. So of course our main element here are kick. And then we got our symbols here. And there's a lot of heavy compression happening here on the drums. So of course everything is routed into our drum bus here, which has our, our punchy kick our clap, so we're using a clap instead of a snare. It's a really, really awesome way to making that really pumpy house beat. And then we have a separate hats bus, which our crash, our closed hats, our rides, and our open hats are being routed to. Then each individual symbol has its volume mix, so it doesn't overwhelm you. It's very, very great for controlling the dynamics. And then there's some glue compression happening here, some very aggressive compression as well as some cleaning with a low cut here for the high mids up. So I only want the high mids. I don't want nothing of the mids or the lows in my mix. And then we added a small amount of room reverb here using Valhalla Vintage Verb that really gives it some space in the mix. And altogether they sounded something like this. And of course you can add more elements like percussive samples, but for this very basic introductory deep house bass, I kept it simple for you guys. A very cool technique that I am gonna show you guys here on the hi-hats is that I use some offbeat symbols here that are off the grid to give it that nice little swing and groove so it doesn't sound robotic or computerized. And it gives it a more natural feel as well as playing around here with the velocity curves so that it so that each hit sounds slightly different and gives it a more human, natural sound to the drums. So lastly, what's last to cover is the mastering. So the mastering, I always play it safe 
and I use a EQ here to cut the very, very sub areas around 30, 40 below, which is a unperceivable tone. So if I want to really keep my dynamics clean, I like to cut off this. I also cut it some I also cut some mud here in the 250 area by doing a little small bell here and the four kilohertz area where I also cut a bit of that harshness, which is very piercing to the ears. So I like to tone it down a little bit. And when using a mastering EQ, you want to do very subtle and minimal changes because it really impacts the sound. And so maybe one, two dB max changes in the mastering EQ is very recommended. Then I added some glue compression so that I can mix it all together and make a little bit more squash together so that they all sound very nicely mixed together. I added some tone with some subtle saturation here. So I'm using some warm tube saturation to give it a little bit of warmth into the mix. And then I added one final glue with some limiter here. So I really cranked up the volume and then I reduced it to a safe area by around negative 0.3 dB. So it's not clipping and there's a little bit of headroom for when using it on platforms like Spotify and such so that Spotify doesn't limit your track you're already limiting. And with all that, this is once again our Deep House track. So there you have it, a Deep House drop using Cosmic for Vital by Black Lives Audio. So if you guys want to check out and purchase the Cosmic for Vital pack, links are always in the description. So. This was Sunkitter. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe to this channel for more future content. I'll see you next one.